Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Robin and Daryl, and we're going to open up another jewelry jar tonight. And go ahead and bring it in. It's a seven point seven pounds four ounces, and this is what it looked like. Bring it forward. Okay, let me. Whoops. Um, okay, now twist it. Not sure I'm seeing anything yet. But he's doing so fast. Maybe this. That looks like a headband. Maybe not that. Oh, there's a little pin there. It looks like a turtle. We'll get to it when we open it. Well, I know. I just kind of show them when I look at this <laughs> bracelet right here would have made me want it. And, um, yeah, okay. That's enough. You got it. So, with no further ado, we'll get to it here. First thing we get is pray for vocations, year of 1998, the Holy Spirit, Pope John the Second, Pope John Paul the Second. Lord, send workers to your harvest and do not allow humanity to be lost. For the lack of pastor, missionaries, and people dedicated to the cause of the gospel. Legionnaires of Christ, Cheshire, Connecticut. So there's that. It's a pretty earring with a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Enameling in here. More beads. Very pretty. I like those. Here's some more. Here's a teardrop capuchon. Came off of something. We're going to put it in that bead pile. Here's a ring. Here's a dolphin. Oh, we've had our first bead drop. Yep. It's a little adjustable ring. Here's another. Religious piece, Sacred Heart, Auto Auto Legion members. And here's that. Sacred Heart Auto Legion, Walls, Mississippi. Here's a NASCAR, number 24 is... I think that's Jeff Gordon. Yeah, that's what it looks like, Jeff Gordon. Oops. Here's a little angel tack pen. Different one. I haven't seen one like that before. Here's a little stretchy bracelet. I've just got a lot of earrings so far. Single earrings. Oh. Here's another capuchon, a red one. Here is... I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it's maybe a broken piece of something, I'm not sure. Here's a little charm. Here's the back. Got something written on the back. Italy. Here's the front again. I don't know 
know what that is. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'd have to loop that. Looks like he's got a staff in his hand. Just not sure who or what it is. Looks like it's Moses parting the water almost. I'm not sure. But then that looks like wheels. I don't know what it is. This looks like a little angel or something. This is a man's face turned around. If you could make that out. See? It's got like a robe on that staff. These look like wheels down here. I'm not sure what this is. If anybody knows, you can enlighten me. Well, this is pretty. It's got a fold over clasp, so it's an older piece. I don't see any markings on it. Yeah, slightly magnetic. Might be like 800 silver, something like that. 80 silver plated. I don't know. It's not marked. Usually if it is, it's marked S80. And this one's not. But it's got a really nice weight to it. This bracelet's got a lot of fire in it. Here's another bracelet. There's a stone in here. Here we go. Go back out. It's a little earring. A little cross earring with some rhinestones. Here's a silver tone ring where the silver is coming off and you see the copper underneath. Yeah, it's not, not magnetic. <clears throat> I wonder this if that's is a what, pretty one. Okay. Very well made. This possibly could be diamond. I'd have to check it. See what we have in here. Nine two five. So this is sterling. It's like an eternity ring. I'll we'll have to test those. <clears throat> it's a pretty bangle and silver tone. It's very magnetic, but it's very pretty. We don't have the ruler up here. To, oh yeah, we did. Curious. So that's almost three inches. So it's probably fits an eight or larger wrist. Got a Brighton. Oh, it is a Brighton. Look at you. You're getting so smart. There's the B. Little charm bracelet. We have cotton. We have a peanut. This is southern. We have a lady. Georgia on my mind. 
Coke, yeah. five cent, and that even has the V on it. It doesn't say Coke, it just says Brighton. There's the Georgia Peach, and there's the Georgia State Flower, and that's shaped like Georgia State. Well, that's cute. I like that. Oh, the Brighton? Yeah. Yeah, that's adorable. Designer Ziploc jewelry. Ooh. <laughs> Zippy Skippy. This is nice, and it's marked or something in here. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way it is. Very nice. Tortoiseshell looking. Well, that could be Lucite, maybe. I don't know. It have to be tested. I don't know exactly how you test all that. Uh, celebrate Toledo. A little tack pen. IYQ. What's IYQ? That's one less than I love you. <laughs> IYQ. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody know? Enlighten us, please. For progress in writing. That's old. <laughs> yes. That's such a talent to be able to write. Something Burl. Battleboro, Massachusetts. LG Balfour Company. Balfour Company? Or? B A L F O U R? Yeah, that, they do all the senior rings. Yeah. Balfour. Balfour Company. And that a bead. Hey, it's glass bead or a stone bead. One or the other. Very cold. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, it's not magnetic either. Yeah, it's either 925 or it is uh, um, stainless steel. Pretty stones. Pinks and a darker red color, like a blue red. I don't see any markings on it. And if it's not magnetic, like I said, it's probably stainless steel. It won't discolor, and it hasn't discolored anywhere. You can tell it's been worn. Very pretty. <clears throat> Here is Gobel Collector's Club. Number five. Is it Gobel? Or how, do you, how do you pronounce that, German? Gobels. Gobels? Yeah. This is a pearl. I think it's a Biwi pearl. And it is, I don't know. It's not a bead of any type, it's just come off. Oh, a pair of earrings and silver tongue. And they look like they're marked. Maybe. And maybe not. I must have been seeing things. I was. But they're still nice. Very well made. Still in great shape. None of the metal's worn. It needs cleaning, but no worn metal on that. 
And it's not magnetic. Hmm. Look real quick here. They could be silver over copper or they could be stainless steel. I don't know. Okay, I'm back on. That's a pretty little pendant with a feather. It is silver and gold tone, mixed metal. Very pretty. We have this, which that's done in two, it's done like that, made like that. It's different. There's a large cuff. It's missing the stone here, which we can probably find in this. <laughs> bag here. We could put something like that on there. Or whatever. Put that in the craft lot. Yep. This is very pretty. Ornate. And it goes across pearls, I believe. Like an enhancer. This lifts up. It looks like it went over a double strand of pearls. And then you would have that. That's beautiful. And that's not magnetic. Let's see if it's marked anywhere. Mark something, but it's so dirty. I have to wipe it off to see. Let's see. I'll have to clean it up. That's an enhancer. This is pretty. Love this kind of stone here, that cut, and I don't see any markings. It's got wear on the band back here, so it's probably silver over, co silver over um, copper. Pretty stone though. And it's not magnetic, so that is interesting. It's a pretty cut. I don't know what they call that cut. I used to know, but I don't know. I don't remember. Adorable. Pinocchio. Little pendant. We'll put him back here with our flamingo. Yeah. Our critter lot. Tassel. Bracelet. Yeah, that is magnetic. But these little silver spacers are not. I guess it goes like that. Kind of too big for my fingers. Kind of cute though. Got copper coming through the gold tone. This is still all gold tone. Like birds and crosses. <clears throat> Here's a flag. The tack pen. Here's Jesus and the tack pen. It's pretty. Here's a butterfly. A 
Here's the back. It's in really good shape. I don't see any marks on it. And I don't know if these are acrylic or some stone. They're not cold, so they're probably just acrylic pieces. I think this is Mary. Oh, Mary. Conceive without sin. Pray for us. Yes. Here's a pretty little cross with some rhinestones. Looks like a citrine in the middle there. This has got writing on it. It's a premier design. And the bell has little rhinestones on it too. They're all there. Nice bell on that. Here's a headband. Always have to have those hair pieces in there. <laughs> Things for jewelry for your hair. That's what they must be calling it. This is black enamel. It's pretty heavy. Very cold too. Let me see, what do we have here? We have a toggle clasp that has three adjustments. We have a tag. And I have not a clue what the tag says. Let's see if we can get it up here. Nine West. It's a snake chain with these beads. Very pretty beads. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. <clears throat> Here's another one. I saw a lot of these. See, probably in, in the 80s. A lot of people had these kind of beads, and they would layer them with chains. And that's an older clasp. Yeah, that's magnetic, but it's pretty. It's not uh, discolored in any way, so it's made well. Here's a little stretchy ring. Pretty colors. And you can adjust these. You can make them smaller by you take uh, needle nose pliers and you press on that and it breaks that and that and then they just come back together again. It makes it smaller if you need them smaller. Here's a little stone, a bead. The hole is right there. So it's a chip. Piece of stone. Here's a resin cameo in black. There's the pen. I guess it's resin. This looks like it's silver. Let's see. It's magnetic. No, it's magnetic. It's got that silver look though. Bracelet. There's a bronze colored medallion pendant with pearls and this right here is beaded work. 
And then you have the pearls, that rhinestone in the center. This one is a pendant. It looks sort of artisan made to me. These are leaves. There's a pearl behind there. Makes it look like a flower. There's a lot of shadowing on there, not a lot of contrast. You've got contrast with the butterfly here. And you have rhinestones, and I guess these are missing rhinestones. I don't know if think they're meant to be that way. I don't know. And then these chains that hang down are gold tone. So it's a mixed metal, mixed metal look. Very artisan. Well, now this is different. I've never seen one made like that. <laughs> With two little stones in the prongs there. Here's the side. It's decorative on the side. Looks like a peridot in color. I don't see any anything on the inside of the ring telling me it's sterling. It's not magnetic, so it could just be stainless steel. It's pretty. Very different. The next one is this clip-on angel charm. And we have another resin cameo. Here's the back. It's a pendant. Not magnetic. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything on the inside here. Oh, that's small. So it could be silver over brass or copper, or it could be stainless steel. I don't know. Boy, do we have a tangle coming up here. Here's Mary and Jesus. And there's Jesus grown up. Oh, and here's that little turtle pin. It's adorable. Yes, I do love that. Here's the back. It looks like an older pin. I don't see any name on it. Nope. But he's cute. Little pen, turtle pen. Very cute. Pretty little Christmas tree brooch. I'm missing one stone there on the left. It should be a red stone, and I probably I'd put a yellow or a clear stone up there. Here's the back. It looks like it's got JJ on the back. Hopefully we'll find some little rhinestones to repair it. Now this looks like a little piece of turquoise and silver. Yeah, that's silver. It's not doing anything. Oh, here's a bee. You should wear a Joan Rivers bee. It's got a mark on it. I can't see where it is. I'll have to look. At least I think it had a mark on it. I don't see anything. Oh. Okay. Sometimes the indentations and stuff in the back can fool you. I'm easily fooled. Pretty little bee, though. It's in great shape. The enamel, nowhere on the enamel or the metal. So we have a little bee and a turtle.
little ring with a little rhinestone in there. Our CZ. I don't see anything on the inside. But that's cute the way that's made. Oh, that's a little bigger. Oh, that's sweet. That's mixed metal like two sisters with hearts. Mexico's not magnetic. And it's not magnetic. Well, it's brass and copper and silver, I think. Let's see if it says. <clears throat> Take it out of the bag and show its true beauty. Yes, there's something written on it. It is. E A R par far fetched or far fetched. <coughs> I don't know. Must be who made it. Let's see if y'all can get any of that. Far fetched, I guess. Look at that. That's a beautiful pen. Might be stainless steel and copper and brass. Very pretty. I'll keep it in a little bag. No scratches or anything. It reminds me of my two sisters. Let's see. Here's Santa. And here's another ring. That looks like amber. Very much so. Let's see if we see any. I don't see anything in there. Let me see. If I see anything with the loop. Sure. It definitely needs cleaning. Definitely that's amber. It's got all kind of little pieces in it. Let's see. 